In this video, I'll be showing you the easiest way to get smoother, faster prints. We'll begin by opening our slicer, and our model, select our model, and click variable layer height. By now, you can see all the layer lines are of the same size, but we can head up to speed or go down to quality. Let's say I select quality, and I'll also print one with the speed setting on. Next, we have the smooth. I'm going to put this back to 50, and smooth will make our print, well, smoother. I'll also print one for reference with smooth. And lastly, we have keep minimized areas, which we can use to make smaller details on our print more prominent and less smoothed down. I'll now show you the results. All right, this is the standard print. And as you can see, it doesn't look that good. Besides that, it took about 13 minutes to print, and this is only 3.3 grams. The material cost stays the same, by the way. Now here, I have the quality. And look how much smoother it is. You cannot see nearly as much ringing on the top, and there's way less visible defects. All right, next I'll bring in speed. And while it doesn't look as good at its quality, it still prints a lot faster in about two thirds of the time. And at last is smooth. And comparing it to your original model, you can see it is really smooth, but it also looks very similar to a certain thing called quality. And out of these two, smooth actually prints much, much faster. So you're gonna to wanna to experiment between these two to see which one is suitable for your print. Comment below your favorite slicer hack and I'll see you in the next one.